Hello everyone. Currently waiting for valet. Ooh, valet. I'm in Cape Town again. Yes, I've been out here like every other day, um, but I'm grabbing dinner with my sister and my cousin and we also have some friends um, from Virginia in town. So we're getting Korean barbecue, but this place is popping. I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat here. Guess we're waiting. Andy is in front of me, so. Good morning everyone. I just cleansed my face and I thought I'd share with you guys a couple of new products that I've incorporated into my morning skincare routine. Huge shout out to Skin and Lab for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know, I've been on the journey to clear skin. I've been very picky about what I put on my face. So before I talk about any product, I make sure I do my due diligence and test it out. So I've been using Skin and Lab for the last couple of months and so far so good. I'm excited to talk about the brand with you guys because their main focus is clean ingredients, research, and accessibility. The products are very affordable, which is why I think it's a great option for people who want to have quality products, but at a decent price. So Skin and Lab was founded in 2009. They are paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and they don't use any artificial scents, which I love. And all of their products are made in Korea. Starting off with their serum. Vitamin C is one of my favorite antioxidants. I recommend that everyone should use vitamin C in the morning underneath their SPF. It works wonders, especially for acne prone skin. It'll help even out your skin tone and brighten your skin as well as it protects your skin from free radical damage, which is so important. This serum in particular is a blend, so it has vitamin C, but it also has a blend of 15 other vitamins as well as hyaluronic acid. We all love some hyaluronic acid and panthenol, which kind of acts like a barrier to make sure that the moisture is locked in. I like to take a couple drops and the texture is a true like serum texture. It's very lightweight and I kind of rub it and then pat it all on my skin. So already my skin feels pretty hydrated. It's not heavy, it's not sticky. It just feels really comfortable and it really absorbs super quickly into the skin. And after that, I take their vitamin B hydrating gel cream. This has 5% vitamin B, so it's really good for hydration. And this also has hyaluronic acid as well and ceramide. If you're not familiar with ceramide, it also acts as like that protective barrier to lock in moisture keep out the environmental stressors. And the texture, again, is super lightweight. It's a gel, so there's no stickiness, which I love. It just feels really, really comfortable and makes your skin look healthy. Whatever's left, I kind of just pat it into my neck, decollete. I think layering the two works really well. It gives you that extra boost of hydration. As far as pricing goes, the vitamin C serum goes for $18.99 and the cream is $20.99. You can find both of these products on Amazon Prime and you can get 15% off by using my code. All the info will be listed in the description box down below, so make sure you check it out. And thanks again to Skin and Lab for sponsoring this video. The way that Leo is eating right now is so cute. He has his two front paws on the steps. There's no butter. It's it's fine. We are headed to Jen's baby shower. So we just picked up the sandwiches. They're like little tea sandwiches. 
It looks so good. We're taking electric bikes. This one is mine. That one's Robin's. This one is Andy's. He just got this. Look at this beauty. And we're just gonna ride down Santa Monica, Venice. <sighs> so this happened. Oh, scooter! Sophie, you'll be fine. Are you sure it's really open? Two, three. Oh, it's a jam. Oh, you There's something running, maybe it'll like fall. So is it, is it warm? Is it lukewarm? It's, it's not gonna. It's best. not gonna hurt. Is it going? This is your idea. I think we're trying to keep it clean, though. I know, but I was trying to gently pat it, not like oh, dump much I mean, water over it. It's not gonna move the sand. Hi, it's me in real time. Just wanted to pop in to give you guys some context on what happened because I wasn't able to talk about it. But as we were bike riding on the beach, um, I was leading us and then it was Robin and then Andy behind. I see a girl in the middle of the lane and she's on her phone with her head down. She's not aware of her surroundings. She has no idea there is a lot of incoming traffic and that she's also in the bike lane. Once I saw her, I realized like, oh my God, I'm getting closer to her and if she doesn't look up, I'm going to hit her. There was also a lot of sand everywhere, so my brakes weren't able to gain any traction, uh, which resulted in me sliding and falling off the bike and I ended up in the sand. Once that happened, the girl finally looked up and she's like, oh my God, are you okay? And at that point it was a little bit too late and she had no idea I fell because she was just walking right in the middle of the bike lane. And the bike lane was pretty narrow, so I wasn't able to dodge her because there was just people everywhere. But at least the people in the bike lane were 
paying attention to what was going on. So once we left, we stopped by CVS and we picked up hydrogen peroxide, which I now know that you're not supposed to use on an open wound. It is way too strong and it is going to be extremely painful. So as you guys saw in the video, Andy sprayed some hydrogen peroxide and I thought I was gonna pass out because the pain was that bad, but he wasn't able to get all of the sand off. So Robin grabs a bucket of lukewarm water and we pour that on the wound just to try and clean it a little bit. And that hurt as well. So really at that point, anything that you're putting on it is just going to burn. But I definitely recommend doing water rather than hydrogen peroxide. So yeah, that is what happened. <laughs> the day was going so well. It was 4th of July. We were having a great time and for it to have ended on that note really, really sucked. But I keep telling myself that it could have been worse and I'm all right, so that's all that matters. This looks fine. Oh, right, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, it's done. The worst <laughs> part is over. The worst part is over. Nope, you wanna... Uh, there's a way to make this less sticky. I don't know. I mean, more gauze and just doing just a little bit of a tape. A little bit of tape. It's gonna be a little spicy, but take it. I am. What'd you put in the sauce? It's shoyu, so like cold dipping so soba mm -hmm. sauce with wasabi. just got back home from getting our nails done. We got this beautiful lavender color. It's really pretty. Afterwards, we went to my favorite grocery store. Well, bougie. Well, a lot bougie. It's called Air One. It's like the most beautiful curated grocery store on the planet, but it is an arm and a leg. The price point is crazy, so I just go there for like special things like dessert or food. So we picked up some hot food, got a pot pie because I've been really craving one. And then for dessert, I got a carrot cake. So I'm gonna enjoy that. And I think I deserve it with my cripple leg. And then tomorrow I go home and I'm pretty sad because it's been nice to have my sister take care of me. I don't know how I'm gonna clean this wound by myself, but I'm a big girl and it'll be fine. Don't wanna admit that, but I thought I know. Huh? You were just on the block. No, I went down two blocks mm -hmm. and then down over. And Luna just kept sitting. And I thought it was because- Well, she was like pulling you because she did that to me today. She was pulling me because I thought she didn't want me to go back home. Cause I was That's what I thought believing too. I was taking us home. And I was like, Luna, come on, we're not home yet. And she just wouldn't go. And then she'd like do a little few steps and she'd just stop again. I'm like, Luna, we're gonna still be walking. And then I look and I'm like, oh shit, the house is back that way. And then as soon as I turned around, she just like, you know when you run with Luna, she doesn't pull you? Yeah, she was kind of like. You have to kind of pull her. She was mushing like a freaking Alaskan, Siberian oh, Husky, like there was snow and she was attached to a sleigh. She mushed me with my flip flops on down the street, like full power. I was like, Luna! And she wouldn't stop. I was like, Luna! And then we got here. I was like, wait, should she take you to the front? Yeah, she took me to the front gate. Like, this is smart. When she runs away, she, just, she boomerangs it, basically. Luna, come down. This is my beautiful Luna. pot pie. Yeah. Do you not ever crave a pot pie? Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> We're not sisters. Not normal. I can't be saying he's ready to come home when there's two weeks left. Okay, what are we making? You want to tell him? Scented lavender. Bundles. Bundles. Thanks. She just made this. Well, I mean, she's been making them all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it takes longer than I know, you've been you doing think. this for hours. Hours? Robin, of course. You take fresh lavender and you make these bundles and what are these good for? They repel moths. I just got my winter scarf, like basically <laughs> it was eaten a... up and there were big holes in them. So moths hate lavender, it repels them. So we are going to use this for our closets. Yeah. Uh, dressers, stick it under your pillow and you know, it helps you sleep at night. But look, just take your finger 
pull it down. Oh. Yeah, just take your finger, pull it down. And I'll like double and Oh, wow, that's just my nails. Mm -hmm. And then just bend it all around. Okay, and you can start holding them from, grab it like this. Basically the first weave is over, under. Each stem has the weave. Basically we went over, mm -hmm. this is the first one we went over on. Mm -hmm. So we want to go under this mm -hmm. time. So, it doesn't look so if it's double over, that means you did something wrong. Right. So you should go back and take the ribbon out and it's fine. Home stretch. Okay. Well, I should cover all, like, there's maybe one more around. So over, under, I'm gonna dream about over, under, over, under. Okay, that's two. And then when I do, I like kind of let the stem rotate around like that. Oh. I think the other way's looking. Oh. Yeah, you see how it's doing that? Yeah. And then just put it through one of them. Oh, look at that. Look at that. My little design. <sighs> Finished. Finishing product. Cheers. Cute. Bye. And the fibroblasts coming into the wound contribute to the building of the extracellular matrix. So the epithelial tissue can then migrate directly underneath the dressing. <laughs> We know this woman yes. doesn't like pizza. I know. It's not that she doesn't like it, she just doesn't. It's I'm just not like. Crazy about it. It's so hot. Mm, that's good. <gasps> Did not mean to do that. <laughs> he wants it. Nice. He wants an opportunity. <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go for a <laughs>